What's up YouTube, Mom Buna Marcus here. Uh, today's video is in response to this aquarium tuber tag challenge. I was called out by Steve Pullen Cichlids and Joe Munoz. So this is my response uh, to the questions asked. So we'll start with number one. Uh, they asked how how did you get into fish keeping? I got into fish keeping, uh, I was 10 years old. It was a Christmas gift from my mother. It was a 10 gallon aquarium. Uh, it was actually for myself, my younger brother and sister. Um, once we had that set up, put some fish into it. I think it was like six neon tetras, two glow light tetras, and a couple zebra danios. Needless to say, I was hooked. I couldn't get away from it, and the rest is history. Uh, what is your favorite fish? Some of you guys probably know this. Um, Paracromus dovi, or wolf cichlids. Uh, those are my favorite fish. Um, I've kept a lot of fish over the years, but they are definitely in a league of their own. What's your least favorite fish? First off, I, I like all fish. Um, the one fish I can say, I would call it the my biggest disappointment. Um, it was the Red Empire Gobi. And probably just Google it or YouTube it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Beautiful fish with amazing potential. Um, I dedicated a whole 75 gallon tank to him. It took like a year for me to grow them out. And once I put him into my 75 gallon planted aquarium, they just disappeared. They never came out, they never interacted. The time, the effort um, that I put into them to kind of, you know, get them to showcase their full potential never happened. So I have to say, uh, Red Empire Gobies were my biggest disappointment. Um, it's not that I wouldn't try them again, it's just you know after everything I put into them and nothing you know there was no result I'd have to say uh, they were my most disappointing uh, what filter do you use um, I'm a huge fan of the Emperor filters when I was in um, the retail business I sold tons of these filters over time I think bang for buck they're just phenomenal uh, if you really understand denitrifying bacteria you know and just the, the mechanics of these filters, no, there's no denying how well they work. And for the money, bang for buck, I think they're just excellent. Uh, what lighting do you use? This is probably the most common question I get on my channel. Uh, as you can see in front, this is my uh, cichlid display tank. Um, I'm just using regular fluorescent lights. It's a double fluorescent fixture, but the bulbs that I'm using are ZooMed Fluorosuns. And they're about a 10 Kelvin, like 10,000 K um, spectrum. And that spectrum includes obviously your blues and your daylights, uh, but obviously brings out your fish's uh, full potential. So I use ZooMed fluorescent bulbs, and it's not just on this tank, it's pretty much on all of them. Favorite type of tank setup? Well, I think you guys all know I'm. You know, I'm a cichlid guy. Uh, obviously, I love my African cichlids. I love showcasing the color of them. Um, deep down, I'm actually a little more of a Central and South American cichlid guy. But just based on, you know, the, the real estate that you need, the tank sizes to dedicate to individual species makes it kind of difficult. Uh, whereas you can see with the African cichlid tank in front of you, you know, you can just, you know, basically stuff it. So, you know, obviously I like the African cichlid style tanks. I also love Amazon type biotopes. Uh, what is your dream tank? Um, I would love to have a custom 10 to 12 foot African cichlid tank one day. Um, not saying it won't happen and you know, it could happen. Just not in the house that I'm living at now. Um, also, I would love to get like a 350 gallon, 400 gallon aquarium and dedicate it, you know, for the lifetime growth of say like a, a wolf cichlid, you know, grow it to its full potential, get them up to 24 inches, keep them for many years. I would love to dedicate a huge aquarium to that species. What food do you use? I use a mixture of food. Um, a majority of the food that I was feeding up until recently was uh, the Omega Cichlid Color. Uh, I find it to be a good food, um, but over time I found that it was lacking in some degrees. So I've kind of switched over. I'm using a combination of both the Omega and uh, the North Fin. So far I have to say I'm quite pleased with the North Fin. Uh, the results seem quite good. And uh, like again, you know, I'm gonna st obviously stick to high quality foods, but right now I would give the nod to uh, the North Fin. 
What is your dream fish? Um, I've pretty much kept everything that I've wanted. It would, you know, I, I really love peacock bass, but, you know, even the small species of peacock bass get huge. So, you know, like the, you know, the Orinos, uh, the Calberry, those are, you know, two fish that I would like to keep down the road, but again, I would probably only do that if I had at least a 350 gallon aquarium, again, to grow the fish to its full potential. So, it's not that it's a dream fish, it's a fish maybe that, you know, I haven't been able to keep yet, but, you know, definitely possibly in the future, then maybe a couple of Leopoldi rays, you get the idea. Uh, nominate three other YouTubers, um, you know, to this challenge. So I'm going to call out Psychedelic Babe, Colin Bar Barsby, you know, correct me if I got your last name wrong, and also Robbo's World. It's been a while since Rob has done a video, so I'm going to call him out and uh, let's see how they return the favor. Thanks for watching.